Hey, I'm Brent Ayler, and I'm going to give you the total system of a NACO rig. Uh, NACO rig is a nail weight, a nail rig is kind of another way to say it. This here is a four inch Sanko. I have a Reigns 332nd ounce nail weight in the head of that Sanko. I run a O ring in that Sanko. This hook right here is a fly hook made by Gamagatsu. It's called the B10S Stinger. It's a straight shank hook that has an O'Shaughnessy bend. The O'Shaughnessy bend is the best bend for landing fish. So this right here is a size one B10S Stinger by Gamagatsu. That's the Nako rig. You rig this from head to tail you know, normal wacky rig, you go like this, perpendicular to the bait. That's a normal wacky rig. The NACO rig, you want to run from the head toward the tail. So what happens is with the, with the nail weight in there, it falls to the bottom like this. And when I shake it, that hook point is up. So when that thing's on the bottom, I'm sitting here shaking it like this because the nail's down, the tail is up, the hook point is always pointing up. So when a fish comes up behind it and he bites it, that hook point is on the top. And we'll go into the roof of the mouth instead of towards the tongue. So that's the actual rigging of the, the nail rig. The rod I use is my drop shot rod. This is a Daiwa Tatula Elite Series drop shot rod. It's a 7-1, medium action. But this rod is designed for doing a lot of things. One particular reason I like the drop shot rod for the, the Nako rig is the soft tip on this rod. This has a fairly soft tip so that for one I can cast it I can place it where I want to cast it if I'm fishing shallow targets I can cast to that target when that bait hit, hits the bottom I want the soft tip for when I work it I'm not pulling the bait too far away from the strike zone I can impart a lot of action on that naked rig without moving the bait too far it has good backbone in it that's for getting good hook sets has the AGS guides on it. These guards, guides are made out of carbon fiber, so they're very, very lightweight and very sensitive. The transfer of vibration from guide to blank is very strong because of the carbon fiber. So decrease weight, you're adding sensitivity. Uh, the reel I use, this is the brand new Tatula LT. This reel is one of the lightest reels on the market. It weighs six ounces. The other thing I like about this reel is it has a big gear ratio, meaning that I can take up a lot of line when a fish bites it. Uh, nothing secret about what I do line-wise. The line I use is 12 pound TX braided line. The leader I run is Sunline FC Sniper 8 pound. And I rig this the way I rig anything. I want my knot to be outside of the spool when I cast. So I have braided line here, this is my 12 pound braided line. The leader length is about seven or eight feet. But when I cast, I want that knot outside so it doesn't hang on my guide when I cast. If that knot is inside the spool when I cast, it'll jump ahead and catch that first guide. So leader length, seven or eight feet. And cast this bait out, I fish it on the bottom and I shake it the entire time. I want that bait to be on the bottom, wiggling the entire time. I want this thing down on the bottom. Every time I'm sitting there shaking, this thing is just wiggling on the bottom the entire time. The only time I stop it is to drop the rod tip to reel in a little bit of slack and continue shaking. That's all I ever do with it, just constant shaking, shaking, shaking. When a fish bites, all I do is reel down to it and give a sweet pull just like I would on a drop shot. I don't want to snap hooks at it. I want to just sweep and pull into it. I can control it. If I'm pulling too hard, I can back off just a little bit. If I'm sweeping and he's swimming towards me, I can keep going with it and start winding at the same time. I always want to be in control. I don't want to get out of form and be back behind me and lose control. I always want that rod in front of my chest and be in control of that fish immediately on the hook set. So that's the basics from tip to tail, you know, line, bait, everything about the Nako rig. You can use a lot of different worms. My number 
one worm is a Senko, five inch, four inch Senko. I use that more than anything else. There's something about that profile. A Senko is just a fish catching bait. Um, why mess with it? Put a nail weight in it, catch a lot of fish. So that's the Mako rig.